So before this video even starts, I want everyone to leave a comment telling me who your favorite butters is. Is it deckhand butters? Is it astronaut butters? I think those are the two most popular that I run into. Um, astronaut butters definitely being the most popular. So I would give it to him for now as being the best, but we're gonna compare them all. They're not the highest level, so maybe if they're a little bit higher level, one would be better than the other, but we're gonna test them all out and see which ones are the most effective. So I put deckhand butters in my original deck. My original deck is definitely my best and it helps me win the most time. So if I use another butters in a different deck, which I'm going to have to, I don't know if I'll win as many times, but we can still, still see if the butters is a good card. I'm currently level 46. I've never reached level 47. So let's see if we can do that today. Also, someone in my clan who's one level below me reached the leaderboards and he's placed 727. So. I don't know how many um, leaderboard spots there are. There might be 750, I would assume. But I don't know, let's get right into this battle. I like to always electrocute the Timmies, no matter what they may be, Mecha Timmy, um, just a regular old Timmy. And my connection's already cutting out, so let me fix that. I think my connection's good now, and that Clyde is standing still for some reason. There are so many glitches where the troops just stand still, and I get lagged out. All right, damn it, that counts as a loss. That's okay, let's get right back into it. So if you didn't know what Deckhand Butters did, he, he heals the closest ally or your tower. So either one, if you don't have any allies down, he'll heal the tower, which can be effective. Um, it can it can change it from being one lightning bolt away to being two lightning bolts away. And this Mimsy is gonna take out my tower, which kind of sucks. And it looks like we don't really have that many troops left. We're gonna go on a rush right now. We're gonna drop Starvin' Marvin right up. Oh, uh, we're gonna drop Cyborg Kenny and then Deckhand Butters actually. Ooh, no, 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 no arrows. Okay, good. All right, we still have our Cartman alive. We still have our program stand alive. We're gonna be able to take out this Heidi pretty easily. And then our Deckhand Butters goes down. Program stand gets back up to full health, but it still looks like he's going to stop this rush very easily from us. Now we just play some defense and try to come back in this game, which I think we can do. All right, let's go on a rush right now. Let's just go all in. We're going Starvin Marvin, Heidi, and then we're also going Cyborg Kenny. So if he has a counter for the Cyborg Kenny, Rats would be the only thing, or Pigeon Gang possibly, that would be very deadly to me. But he didn't have either of those ready. I think he does have Rats on his deck but he didn't have any of them ready. And that Ike takes us out. Is he gonna be able to take out our Butters? No, our Butters swings a little bit faster. That's nice. And then we're gonna get a little bit more health on our tower right now. Thank you, Butters, I appreciate that. Deckhand Butters, I, I love you a little bit. We're gonna just try to play some defense and come back and win this game. He is a couple levels below us, so I feel like we should be able to come back and win this. We have a lot more health on our tower, which just feels amazing for me. And I've been running into so many people who use Terrence's. I think it's one of the most um, used cards at this level. Terrence's, Rat Swarm, um, and then Butters of any sort. Just so, so many people use those types of cards. Let me see what I can try to stop, how, how I can try to stop this Mimsy, because I really don't know if I can. We have four troops down right now. We actually only have three down, and it looks like we're not going to be able to stop this guy. Oh, are we? Thankfully, we stopped the Mimsy. Now we're going to go on a rush with um, Starvin' Marvin, and he drops Arrow Storm, which kills basically everything in my life. And I don't think we're going to be able to stop this and win. I really don't. And our Deckhand Butters really goes to waste. He gives us a little bit more health on our tower, but we have to we have to make some sort of comeback. Nope, it's over guys. If I don't know how effective lightnings are on Mimsy, but I guess we can test it out. Yeah, it, it's over. That's a loss. But I would say Deckhand Butters, from what I saw of him, he's pretty effective. He swings fast and then he, he heals either your tower or he heals the closest ally. It sometimes can be annoying when your Cartman, like in that battle, my Cartman needed health but he healed the program stand instead, so I should have dropped it on the opposite side, um, more near the Cartman, so then he could have been healed up instead. Uh, I think keeping the tanks alive is probably your best option. My deckhand butters is only level two, so we're gonna get him up to level three just for this video, if we can. It really doesn't look like we'll be able to. 
I'll be back if we're able to. We are not able to, and I don't know where to get more alien hands. I just have to play a shitload of PvP matches or buy them. I remember I was opening packs for a video, and I kept on getting mad because I was getting astronaut butters and a shitload of them when I thought it was, it was the last card in every pack, and I would get astronaut butters over and over again. People got so mad at me for saying astronaut butters is shit and I don't want him. I didn't really mean he was shit. I just meant that I didn't want him in place of a legendary because, you know, personally, I would like a legendary over a astronaut butters, but the long-awaited, the most favorited, is that a word? The most loved butters of all time. We have astronaut butters on our team, and I don't know if this guy is playing. I run into quite a few people who don't play matches, so let me get into another battle, guys. So if you didn't know what Astronaut Butters did, his Death Wish speeds up his closest ally or leader for four seconds. It doesn't seem like very much, but it's like war it's like dropping a Warboy tweak. When you drop a Warboy tweak, everything just goes crazy for a couple seconds. And this guy doesn't want to play as well, so god. Just fucking play me, please. No, I'll take the free locker. I'll be back, guys. All right, could this be the battle that actually someone plays in? Who knows? Probably not, I would assume. All right, this guy hasn't dropped anything quite yet. Are these people really just letting me win all these? All right, this guy still hasn't dropped anything. All right, I'm just gonna go all in. Who, ca who gives a fuck? All right, wh what? Three in a row. That kind of looks like a four. That kind of looks like four. Three in a row. That's six. But you guys know what I mean. Three matches in a row where the person hasn't been playing. That's pretty odd. Do you guys run into that quite often? I'm assuming these people are just trying to drop a bit lower so then they can get um, easier wins and get those lockers a little bit faster. I'm assuming. But I really don't know. It's like no one's playing. Our astronaut butters just took out the Heidi for some reason. We were able to stop his rush. I honestly thought no one was going to be playing in this one. It's just every single battle no one was playing. But now we're going to get into this battle. I made sure this guy was playing. Here we go, guys. This guy's level 11 and he's level 47. I feel bad, honestly. I'm level 14. I have this cool alien hat that I got recently. But let's get into this video. He has an astronaut butters. And what? Get into this video. What am I saying? But he has an astronaut butters as well, so it's going to be pretty fucking annoying to face this guy, to be honest. I really want my lightning. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it, though. Oh, he just dropped all of his troops into my Cartman's ability. Wasn't the best idea or decision. I really wish I had my fucking lightning. Where is that? I don't know where my lightning is. It's like literally not even in this deck. We have astronaut butters now. We can drop him and go on a big rush if we want to. No, it's it's really not worth dropping my astronaut butters yet, I would say. He's gonna switch the Heidi's team. My Heidi's gonna go down, and my Cartman's gonna go down by the Timmy, of course. Let's drop a Cyborg Kenny for this Timmy. Okay, he drops a Cyborg Kenny as well. That's one annoying thing about this game, guys. If you have a higher level Cyborg Kenny, it does not work out in your favor by any means. This guy has a level four astronaut butters. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be very tough. Ooh, he's gonna get two hits in on our tower, our Space Warrior token. And then we have the Timmy making contact with the tower as well. Everyone goes down. Let's go for a rush. Come on, Space Warrior token. If he locks on the tower, it could possibly go down. Come on, one more. One more hit. Yes, we take down the tower. It's, a, it's an even ball game. I want to get to level 47. So, Astro I feel like all butters are very situational. You can't drop them all the time, like most troops, because I think, I don't know if they're considered attacking troops, I think they might be, but still, it, it's not a good decision to drop butters at all points. They're good for defense, I would say, but they're definitely more pivotal on offense. And if you can get, get a good butters down on offense, you definitely have a chance of winning the game. And yeah, this is another win, guys. Uh, we didn't really use astronaut butters too much in that one. I'm gonna use this gameplay, even though I didn't use butters too often. I think it shows when you can use butters and how to effectively use them. I don't wanna just keep dropping them. Wow. We're facing someone on the leaderboards who's level, who's 424th on the leaderboards. So this might be a tough battle, but yeah, I want to just use the gameplay as it is. I don't want to try to use butters more often. Does that make sense? Because 
even if even if um I don't get a lot of gameplay on him. It's at least legitimate gameplay that I'm not like foraging just for this video. So I don't really know how to effectively use this deck very well to be honest, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop a Cyborg Kenny. We're going to get everyone attracted to our Zen Cartman. Hopefully we can get Angel Windy's ability. He drops an Arrow Storm and it looks like we are going to lose this tower for sure. Nothing, nothing can stop this. Um, he had a pretty good rush. I was very intimidated going into this battle, and it looks like we're just going to lose this one, honestly. I don't really have anything to stop this. Let me get back into another battle, but we're using Choir Boy Butters this time. Alright, let's get right into this battle. I have Zen Cartman at the start, so I am confident with this, and he has Zen Cartman as well, of course. I don't really know what can take out Zen Cartman and that's worth it. I know you can turn Zen Cartman into a rat, but that's two extra energy. So I don't think using that is necessarily the best decision. And I'm getting a lot of lag right now. And my Zen Cartman is just chilling in the background. All right, let's see what Choir Boy um, Butters does. Gives you a little extra energy. So does he give everyone a little extra energy or just um, one person around him? We're going to have to see what that does. Oh no, I'm fucking dumb. It gives my tower a little bit more energy. All right, let's just drop a bunch of troops. What am I doing? All right, let's use regeneration as well. And let's pull everyone to my Zen Cartman. My Space Warrior token goes down from the Inuit Kenny. Uh, let's see. Let's use Angel Wendy's ability get my Zen Cartman a little bit more health. Okay, I don't know. This didn't seem very effective, honestly. I don't really think it was. And he used Regeneration, and he's going to be able to take on my tower. Let's use Choir Boy Butters right now. It's going to give me a little bit extra energy. Let's see how much. It gives me one extra energy. Um, that doesn't really seem like it's too great, but he only costs two energy to use him. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not very good with this deck. But my observation about that, like, it, he can be effective. He could be effective in doing some damage. He doesn't cost very much, which is definitely a plus. If you can get troops down that just don't cost very much, that's, that's a plus in all aspects. Other than that, though, I think, like, only one energy. Oh, he has a Choir Boy Butters as well. One energy really won't do too much in any sort of battle. Okay, we are back in this. It doesn't seem like it necessarily. We still have a huge deficit, but I think we can come back. He lightning bolts my Space Warrior token, and this Marcus is going to take out my tower. So we have to do something quick. I'm going to drop a Dougie, hopefully take out part of his tower. If we can't, it's probably going to be over. We're going to drop a Choir Boy Butters right here. He's only level 2. So if I could get him up to level 3, maybe it would be a bit more effective. But he's not really my favorite, to be honest. I don't really see myself using him too much. It, like I said, if he was level 3, maybe level 4, I could see myself using him. But as a level 2, he's just not giving me that much energy. I don't really even notice it, to be honest. And it's like dropping a very weak troop that I just don't really want to use. I'd rather use someone else, like a Deckhand Butters or an Astronaut Butters for sure. So for Paladin Butters, this one's a little bit more interesting. I think this one could be really good. His Death Wish, closest ally or leader becomes invincible for three seconds. So let's test them out. I have to make a brand new deck for him. My fantasy cards are not leveled up. Just, they're not. None of them are. I haven't really used too many of them, to be honest. Princess Kenny is one that I'm very interested in using. But I can't really use them because all my other fantasy cards are super low level unless I just wanted to use one fantasy card which probably wouldn't work out too well for me. But let's get into this battle guys. So I have Zen Cartman and Catapult Timmy. I really do feel bad for this deck. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to do this to you but you know what? I have to. It's for the sake of this video. We have Catapult Timmy and Zen Cartman. Oh this is a nasty combination right here. Let's drop this um, Jimmy right there, and then we're gonna drop Paladin Butters right here. Hopefully he makes my um, Poseidon stand. I guess he'll make my Timmy invincible, but he's doing some nice damage, wow. He's not gonna get any hits on the tower, which is okay, but he was able to stop all that rush, and our Timmy is invincible right there, but it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna drop a Stand the Great. 
His ability is so amazing, I think so at least. He stops my ability from being used, which is definitely a good decision. We're gonna drop this, um, this, what is this, what's his name? I can't even think of it. Dwarf King Clyde, who is a card that I love. He's near and dear to my heart. I think him and Stan the Great are amazing cards, but these vid this video isn't really about that, is it? So what can we drop for this? I don't really think we have anything for this, for this pigeon gang, but we can take out the dog poo. Hopefully my tower can take out most of the pigeons before they do too much damage. Um, they're gonna get a couple hits in, but that's okay. I don't really mind that. That's just a little bit of damage that I had to take for this battle. It doesn't, like, you know, that happens sometimes. You know what, we're just gonna go on a rush right now. Angel Windy, we're gonna drop a Paladin Butters. Let's see how effective this rush is. He electrocutes my Zen Cartman, which is definitely a good decision by, by him, for sure. I can't blame him. We're gonna give everyone a little bit more health with our Angel Windy. Psych, that did not happen. We have Stan the Great right here. Let's see if this Ike, like, almost, yeah, he almost kills him. So what can we drop? We're gonna drop a Catapult Timmy in the background. We're gonna use Stan the Great's ability, and that, that um, Jimmy's basically worthless, which is just, it's super annoying to go against, but you know, I'll accept that. I'll accept it for him. We're gonna drop this Clyde right here, hopefully take out the Poseidon Stan, and he does. He's gonna do a little bit of damage to the dog poo as well. We're gonna use Timmy's ability, which I probably should've used a little bit earlier. Um, sadly, I didn't, and he has a big rush going. We really don't have too much for this pigeon gang, and I really can't, I don't know how to stop this. All right, I'm gonna drop a Zen Cartman. My Zen Cartman's gonna be invincible for a second. My tower is slowed down, I'm pretty sure. He takes out my Zen Cartman, which was just an amazing play by him. I can't even get mad about that. That's another defeat, but okay. I think I think if, if my Paladin Butters and all my other fantasy cards were higher level, that Paladin Butters would have been easily my favorite card. I think it goes Paladin Butters, Deckhand Butters, Ashnaut Butters, and then lastly, Choir Boy Butters. You guys tell me who you think your favorites are. Um, do you disagree? Do you agree? Paladin Butters does a lot of damage. He hits fast like every other Butters. Um, and then he, he makes a troop invincible. If you're going on a rush, that, that could be unstoppable, potentially. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you do enjoy. And by the way, Paladin Butters, you can drop any time as long as you have one other troop alive, which I enjoy, for sure. Bye-bye.